Hi everyone! Welcome to Artsonia's After School Art Club. Today we have a fun art project from Jane Tenbrook, an art teacher from Michigan. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Artsonia gallery. Hello, Jane Tenbrook here from Tyler Elementary School in the Van Buren Public School District in Belleville, Michigan. And today we're going to be making a collage artwork. You can think of collage as kind of drawing a picture using different kinds of scraps, ribbons, yarn, items found in nature. Today we're going to use newspaper and some colored paper. Now, we're going to be making a portrait of a pet. I call this project Newsprint Pet Portraits. It's kind of fun to say, but it's a bit of a tongue twister. All you're going to need to create this project is some old newspaper, the blacker and whiter the better. So lots of text, we're not really worried about pictures. You're gonna need some paper in the colors of your pet. Now I'm gonna be making a portrait of a doggy who has lots of brown shades and tan on him. He's got a little red tongue and uh, maybe some black in his eyes and a little bit of white too. You will also need a pair of scissors I've got some good safety scissors. I've got some grown-up scissors. Make sure that you're safe and you have a grown-up with you when you use your scissors. And I'm going to use glue sticks for this project. You could use liquid glue also, but I find that when I'm making collage, glue stick works the best. All right, so I'm going to build my pet collage on some white paper. Nothing fancy. You could use any color you like. I just thought white might make my doggy portrait show up best. Now to get an idea of how I want to make my portrait, I have to remember that this is going to show my doggy from the shoulders up. So I'm going to take a pencil and very lightly sketch out the idea I have in my mind. From the bottom of my paper, I'm going to make a half an oval. That reminds me of the shape of the dog's body. Then I'm going to come up a little bit and I'm going to make a whole oval, a little bit smaller and overlapping at the bottom. Now that is going to be the dog's head. He's got floppy old ears, so I'm going to make some more ovals. There's one and there's two. And I think that's going to be enough to get me started. The face and all the other things I'm going to add to my doggy, I can put in as I work. So we'll set that down and I'm going to get to work. Now, I think I would like to make my dog's body this beautiful brown color. So I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to cut a half an oval. Try and make it a little bigger than the one I drew so I don't see the pencil lines. There you go, that's pretty good. And I think I'm gonna use some newsprint for his face. Now I don't want people reading the newspaper when they look at my art, so I'm not going to put it top to bottom, left to right. Instead, I'm gonna cut out an oval from my newspaper and have the text going sideways. This will be my dog's face. Now, boys and girls, when my students do this, sometimes they like to draw their shapes out first. And you can do that too. There's no problem with that. I just kind of like to go with it and cut out the shapes without drawing them. But it's up to you either way. So I'm going to add my doggy's head right like that. And then he's got those floppy ears. So I think I'll go back and add some ears. And you know what? For the rest of this, I'm gonna speed things up a little bit so you can see how I create my newsprint pet portrait. So what do you think? There's my little doggy, and I haven't glued anything down yet, so I can adjust things however I want. I could give him a collar, I could change out the ears for different colors, I can move all kinds of things around. Now the key is to remember what I've done so I can glue it all in the exact order. When I put glue stick, scooch up here doggy, when I put glue stick on the back of a piece of paper, I like to use the words 
paint the glue on because I find that we put enough glue on there so it doesn't peel off later. So I'm going to put the lid off my glue stick, set it down over to the side, turn it up just a teeny bit, paint the back of my brown with glue so it is nice and shiny. Glue down the doggy's body. Next, he's got to have his head. Get out of their ear. So I'm going to flip it over, paint the back of that newspaper with some glue. Glue down his head. Now remember, I want to tuck one ear under. So I am not going to press his head down super tight yet. So I can slide that ear right under there like that. How cool. And then I'm going to paint the back of this ear with some glue. If you don't have a pet at home, it might be a good idea to look up some pictures of pets or look at your friend's pet and get an idea of how you want to make your pet and what colors you're going to need. Maybe you're making a black cat, maybe a white cat, in which case you might want to build it on black paper. Now I've got that circle all covered in glue. I'm going to glue that down just how we had it. See how I stuck that eyeball on the glue? Then I rub it around and pop it right there in the middle. And I think this ear might be too close. Let's check and see. Oh, I could tuck it under there. Oh, look at that. How cute is he? And there's his little nose. We'll glue that down there. And finally, his little red tongue, always sticking out, pant, pant, panting. And boys and girls, there we have a newsprint pet. Wasn't that fun? Didn't you have a great time making a portrait of your pet? Whatever animal you make, I bet you're loving it. And I bet the wheels are turning for other animals you could make. Could you make people or houses using newspaper and construction paper? I bet you could. I'd love to see what you come up with. Maybe some wrapping paper or a gift bag or any other kind of paper you've got lying around. Have fun making collages. And remember, stay creative.